This is a great day for Australia and Indonesia and our long friendship. And the Deputy Prime Minister hosted uh, the President-elect for lunch. I'll be hosting him uh, for an early dinner uh, this evening. Uh, this is an important relationship we celebrate this year. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr Speaker. I want to uh, offer our full support to the efforts of the government here and uh, congratulate the Prime Minister on uh, advancing the relationship and the Deputy Prime Minister as well. Uh, I had the great uh, fortune to, uh, to meet with uh, the now President-elect, uh, then Defence Minister uh, Prabowo in uh, Solomon. My question is to the Prime Minister. Can the Prime Minister update the House on the visit by President-elect Prabowo Subianto? How is the government strengthening our relationship with Indonesia? The call to the Prime Minister. I thank the member for Solomon for his question and for his deep interest in the relationship between Australia and Indonesia, which of course is a neighbour uh, to uh, the electorate that the honourable member uh, represents. And today I welcomed Indonesia's President-elect uh, Prabowo Subianto to Australia. Our partnership with Indonesia is profoundly important to Australia. Uh, we'll continue to strengthen our ties. Economic partners, security partners and partners in the global transition to net zero. And this morning we announced the conclusion of negotiations on the Australia-Indonesia Defence Cooperation Agreement. Let's be very clear. When the Deputy Prime Minister in, in coming days travels to Indonesia to sign the agreement, this will represent the most significant defence cooperation agreement between Australia and our largest and most important partner in Southeast Asia. It signals our shared commitment to a peaceful and stable region where sovereignty is respected. This will be a legally binding treaty level defence cooperation agreement that deepens bilateral defence cooperation in key areas, including maritime security, humanitarian assistance and disaster response, peacekeeping, counter-terrorism and education and training. It will enable stronger defence cooperation by supporting increased dialogue and strengthening the interoperability of both of our defence forces. It creates a legally binding framework to conduct cooperative defence activities, includes training and exercises, exchanging information and personnel and sharing of scientific and techni technological data. This is a great day for Australia and Indonesia and our long friendship. And the Deputy Prime Minister hosted uh, the President-elect for lunch. I'll be hosting him uh, for an early dinner uh, this evening. Uh, this is an important relationship. We celebrate this year 75 years of diplomatic relations between our two great nations. Indonesia, of course, is on track by 2040 to be one of uh, the largest economies in the world, with a growing middle class, uh, with a real opportunity for Australia to benefit from this relationship. Uh, deepening our links helps both countries to grow our economies, to support jobs, and strengthen our supply chains. And our partnership on defence and security helps to promote stability and peace in the region. Uh, we'll continue to engage, of course, uh, at the ASEAN summit uh, later uh, this year, uh, but as well, uh, Indonesia is a partner uh, at the PIF, and this engagement over the coming months will be very important indeed for both of our countries. Indulgence, the Leader of the Opposition. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr Speaker. I want to uh, offer our full support to the efforts of the government here and uh, congratulate the Prime Minister on uh, advancing the relationship and the Deputy Prime Minister as well. Uh, I had the great uh, fortune to, uh, to meet with uh, the now President-elect, uh, then Defence Minister uh, Prabowo in uh, Jakarta uh, a couple of years ago and his appreciation for Australia, his genuine interest in the relationship and the friendship uh, was obvious during the course of that meeting, but it has been obvious during the course of his career. And I believe very strongly, as the Prime Minister does, that Indonesia and Australia have a shared past, but it is incredibly important for us to ensure that the future uh, is even more emboldened and the fact that we can work together closely, not just on defence matters, but on national security otherwise, 
people movements on drugs and illegal fishing within the region. And Indonesia obviously brings a very significant effort to making sure that, uh, that with near neighbours uh, we can protect and defend our equities uh, as we go forward. And uh, I uh, welcome any opportunity uh, uh, to work with the Prime Minister and to support the work of the government in what is a very important uh, bilateral uh, agreement uh, and arrangement and friendship between our two countries. Thank you, Mr Speaker.